On any given day, you can easily find them prowling the pavement on Hollywood Boulevard. Is it mostly kids or grown-ups or everybody well, loves say everybody. Everybody. I'd say I'd say mostly kids, but everybody is from five-year-olds to eighty-year-olds. Posing for pictures with fans. Anybody try to pick a fight with you, or they know better? Given these, they know things? better. They know better. We don't pick fights with these guys. We love them. Whether it's Iron Man, the biggest star of the moment, just good old-fashioned revenge, or Superman about to renew his brand, or the Dark Knight. Is that me? Rise. Struggling to keep it together in the chaos of Gotham City. Tell me where the traitor is. Then you have my permission to die. We need superheroes to tackle problems that are too tough for mere mortals to handle. Superheroes are the Greek gods of secular modern life. Otherworldly figures able to tackle the problems of this world. Like the gods of mythology, they can be flawed. I cast you out! In fact, we need them to be flawed. You know, I'm onto something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We recently visited Hans Zimmer, who scored the music for the Dark Knight trilogy and the new Superman movie. With Batman, he started with a simple musical idea, Batman's Wagnerian theme. Right? Oh, suddenly we got hope in there. There's, there, there, there's the possibility of hope. Still the same two notes. Uh -huh. oh. How do you describe the many facets of one character with, with just two notes? The superheroes themselves have changed their tunes ever so slightly over the years. Let the games begin. In response to the challenges we need them to tackle. It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! Superman first arrived from the planet Krypton in the gathering storm before World War II. In the cartoons of those early days, he fought Nazis. I read somewhere that Superman was originally Jewish. It's not quite that Superman's Jewish, but you're close. Comic book professor Jim Higgins says the two men who created Superman were Jewish. Superman is sort of a metaphor for the Jewish immigrant experience. He was vulnerable in his own country, he in was the vulnerable, old country, and, and now he's a superhero. Well, that's it. You come to America, it's the land of opportunity. Later, Vietnam and Watergate made us cynical. Straight arrow do-gooders suddenly seemed dated. Maybe that's why the Batman of the 60s wouldn't dare take this stuff too seriously. And for diehard fans, admitting you like men in tights became about as cool as attending a Star Trek convention. Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. It, for a long time, it was comics that had this air of disrespectability. That changed on September 11, 2001, and the attack on the World Trade Center. The world once again divided into good and evil. Either you are with us, or you are with the terrorists. But still morally complicated, flawed, and vulnerable. Suddenly, superheroes came back in a big way. To see Captain America standing at ground zero, sort of being like, not like Batman, like, ah, oh, we'll get them. You know, it was like, no, he was there helping get people out of the debris and all that stuff. The 2008 economic collapse doubled down on the chaos and uncertainty. So that by the time you get to the Dark Knight Rises, Gotham, take control of your city. A troubled billionaire in a bat costume battles a villain who might as well be from Occupy Wall Street. Who do you root for in that scenario? I recognize you. You're billionaire Bruce Wayne. Adam West is now Mayor West on The Family Guy. Adam West. But to most folks, he'll always be the caped crusader. Don't look at that. That's not your life anymore. Do you still have the blue costume? Uh, in the I, bat cave somewhere? I. Um, where is my wife? Marcel, do you have my bad jammies? In fact, he spent years trying to escape being a superhero. Hand me down the shark repellent bat spray. It was difficult. And about five years after doing a lot of theater and dumb films and little films and whatever, and a few good ones, I decided people love Batman. So why in the hell shouldn't I love Batman? You know, why be an ingrate? So I kind of got acquainted with Batman again, and, and 
I became rather fascinated with it and how to keep that particular cultural thing going. Superheroes never grow old. There's more where that came from, mister. But they do change with the times. I'm David Wright for Nightline in Hollywood.